Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This is the first video of creating a treasure box series in Blender, which we're gonna model a part of it. And I also give you a little challenge at the end of the video for the next upcoming video. So let's jump to the Blender and get started. First of all, let's bring our reference image. Let's drag this part upper a little bit and let's change this part to a image editor. Then let's bring our reference image, which I've found it from Pinterest.com. And first of all, let's get rid of this light and the default cube here. Select both of them and press X and delete. And for this one, you see that it has five faces. For that, I'm gonna bring a circle and open up this add, add circle part and let's change the vertices to 10. Then press R, then Y and rotate it 90 degrees on the Y axis. Then come to the edit mode and on the vertex selection mode, let's select these vertices and X, then delete all of them. Then press 3 to go to side or to graphic view and this will be our the top part of the treasure box, I mean this part. And for that, let's press 1 to go to front of the graphic view, select all of them by A and press G, then X and bring them a little bit to the right part. I want to add a mirror modifier to this because of that I moved it to the right part a little bit to be mirrored on the next part as well. So select these vertices one by one and press V to separate them into two different vertices. Let's do them for all of them. And after that, you should right click to cancel the movement. And now we have five separate edges here. Press A to select all of them, then extrude them on the X axis up to the middle of the world, up to there. And now let's add a modifier, come to the modifiers tab and on the add modifier, we can add a mirror modifier for this one. Then uh, we have an issue here, it's because we rotate the model on the object mode, we have to apply the rotation. Hold down Control and A, then apply the rotation and it will be fixed as soon as you do that. So come to the edit mode with these ones selected, bring them a little bit to the center as well and let's check on the clipping option here so select these ones all of these vertices but make sure to all of them selected come to x-ray selection mode and select all of them and bring them a little bit to the right part as well up to maybe two grids then alt c again to go to solve view then tap out to go to object mode then another modifier is needed and can you guess what is it it is the solidify modifier let's add a solidify and you have to give it a thickness i think something around this will be good the other modifier that we have to give it is the bevel modifier let's increase the segments to four and decrease the amount to a really low number something like this I think that's really cool and now we can right click and shade smooth. So we have to work on the uh, shapes of these ones, these planks here, because they aren't crooky and they aren't extremely straight and because of that we have to work on them a little bit. Come to the edit mode and press 3 to go to face selection mode and hover your mouse on one of these ones and press L to select the objects or all of the linked vertices together then let's scale it on the y-axis a little bit just like that then come to the edge selection mode so or select 2 and select this edge here then gg to vice and move it on the edge direction then for this one as well we can gg to vice and bring it down a little bit and then for this one come to side of the graphic view by 3 with this one selected, we can bring it a little bit inside and also for this one as well. Select this edge here, then press 3 and bring it a little bit to the inside of the model. And let's do the same thing for here. GG to Vice and bring it. GG to Vice and bring it higher a little bit than this one. 
and I think that's really cool. So let's create this part, the middle part here. Let's add another circle from the add menu and because we change it to 10, it's still 10 and let's rotate it 90 degrees on the Y axis and come to the edit mode and do the same thing as we did for the previous one. Select these vertices and delete them and then press A to select all of the vertices and press G and push them a little bit on the X axis to somewhere like this. And then press E to extrude it and press X to extrude it along the X axis. And I think this thickness is really cool. Press A to select everything again and bring it a little bit inside. And do the same thing for this one as well. Come to X-ray selection mode and select all of them. Make sure that all of them are selected and then push it a little bit inside just like that. Select this one again and press A to select everything, then scale it a little bit on the x-axis. So hold Alt C to come to the solve view and let's add a solidify modifier for this one again. And where is it? I found it here. Let's give it a thickness. I think that's really cool. Then add a bevel modifier. For this one again, let's change the segments to four and increase and decrease the amount up to there. So press three again to go to the side of the graphic view. Hold down Alt C to go to X-ray selection mode. Select these vertices here and bring them to the correct position. And I want it to be a little bit go further than this one. Also, let's select these ones and push them backward and a little bit downwards, just like that. And then come out of the X-ray selection mode and I think this thickness is a little bit too much for this one. We can come to the solidify modifier and change the offset a little bit to fix that problem. It should go inside the model as well. So let's create these cylinders here, but first of all, let's apply the solidify, hover your mouse on it and hold Ctrl A to apply it. So come to the edit mode and bring a cylinder. Then let's change the vertices number to 16. 32 is too much for this one because it will be a small object. And bring it a little bit out to see what's happening. Press three to go outside your graphic view and let's scale it down and also scale it down on the Z axis. Then let's change the position on the X again and I think that's cool but we have to scale it a little bit more because it's really smaller than this one and that's going to make sense now we can scale it down on the z-axis a little bit and come to here to snap selection tool and let's change it to face and check the align rotation to target then select this one with this one selected press g and now press g and now press g and now hover your mouse on this face then hold ctrl and left click to enable it so it doesn't work correctly i didn't know why Let's try it again, but it doesn't work. I don't know what's happening. It used to work, but now it's not working. If you know, just tell me. Let's control Z to go several steps backwards. Then press three again and bring it to the correct position yourself. Let's rotate it. We have to do it manually. I want it to be correct, but it's okay. So come to the X-ray selection mode, select these vertices, then GG to voice. And with these ones selected, press X, then faces, because we don't need these faces here. Then hover your mouse on it and press L, then bring it a little bit backwards, just like that. And press 1 to go to front or to graphic view to make sure that on the X axis, to make sure that it's in the middle of this object, this middle object here. 
so I press 3 again and let's take a copy of this one with shift D and we have to find the good position and also the correct rotation for this one we have to repeat the same thing for these ones the three faces and two of them is left let's take another copy and rotate it bring it here and also this part and there we go so press tab again to go to object selection mode and at the end we have to add a mirror modifier for this one then it's happening the same thing here as it, as it happened for the previous one it's because we have to apply the rotation and when you apply it will be fixed so the last thing is left for this video is creating this part let's bring another circle again and let's rotate it on the y-axis 90 degrees then tab in to go to edit mode and select these vertices then let's delete them press a to select all of them and push them a little bit to the right part press 3 to go to side or to graphic view then let's scale them down a little bit not so much and also we have to reposition these vertices here and there and there we go so come to the object mode and let's add a mirror modifier for this one as well and where is it it's here and again the same problem is happening here as well let's apply the rotation and come to edit mode select this vertex and this vertex then press f to fill them so press a to select all of them press f again to fill them with a face and now we have to extrude them along the x-axis to give it a thickness and it should be thicker than the topper parts a little bit then press a to select everything then push them inside just like that and it should go a little bit inside to somewhere like this and press tab to go to object mode so we're done with the first part of the modeling and I hope you've learned something and enjoyed the video. And for the next video, I'm giving you a challenge. It's the same process as we did here. Try to create the bottom part, this part of the model, this part, but not the locker part here, not this one. Up to the next video, you have to create the bottom part yourself. And it's a good challenge for you because the process is just same as the topper part. And also maybe you'll have some difficulties but not so much on the handle part but you can handle it I'm sure of that and during the recording I genuinely couldn't focus on the reason that why this happened to me this part that it didn't snap to the face and rotate it correctly to that direction of the face if you know the reason just let me know in the comments tab I'll be thankful of you also, if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, just click on that button to subscribe in the channel and be one of us. And that's it. Nothing more. See you in the next video.